What is up YouTube and welcome back to another rebuild and today we'll be doing the 76ers as these guys have a very bright future ahead of them and I'm very excited to be rebuilding this team today. Last rebuild we did the, uh, I almost said the Philadelphia Lakers, <laughs> the Los Angeles Lakers. If you haven't seen that one I recommend you go check it out. It's uh, I, I get a little mad in it but it's a pretty good rebuild but uh, without further ado let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video and of course subscribe if you haven't already. But let's get started. So, uh, as I look at this contract situation, Jared Bayless is someone I uh, and Gerald Henderson are someone I want to get out of here. Um, you know, Tiago and Sergio on one-year deals. Not too worried about that. And then there's maybe a few other players uh, I wouldn't mind uh, getting rid of either. But this is a very, very young team, and so we're gonna stick to that. Keep the young players around here and. First, I want to get rid of Jared Bayless and Gerald Henderson, for, uh, for probably for a point guard. So the first trade we're going to be doing, we're going to be trading for Tyus Jones. You know, Tyus Jones is a young player in this league, and he progresses pretty well. So a backup point guard for the future. I really don't want to call Aldrich, but I'll take him, and I'm going to probably just trade him real quick. And uh, we do have the Lakers pick; it's top three protected. So I'm kind of you know, I'm trying to figure out a strategy on how I can try to make the Lakers better. So uh, they'll, you know, not fall in the top three. I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, going to work out. But might give them a player or two that, um, that I really don't need. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to see what I can do and try to make that happen. Our lineup for season number one with the Philadelphia 76ers, TJ McConnell. Timothy, uh, I can't say that. Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, Joel Embiid, Robert Covington, Rashawn Holmes, Jewel Okafor, Tyus Jones, and Nick Stauskas. So we have a very young team. I gave the Lakers a couple of players we didn't really need and hoping that, you know, make them, that'll help them win a couple more games, but probably won't do much. So uh, go ahead and simulate this season and see how the offseason goes. We are at the trade deadline and. Uh, we are 28 and 28, ninth seed. So I really kind of want to look at this. Uh, you know, we're one game back out of the A seed. Do I want to try to compete right now, or do I want to tank, keep tanking? You know, initially I want to tank because we are not ready to win the championship by any means. So let's see who's carrying the load for us: Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Robert Covington, Dario Saric doing nice. Um, I'm planning on trading Joel Okafor in the future because um, I don't. Or I might keep him around. I'm not sure. I don't know what uh, what the best move is here. Like our pick, could, you know, potentially be kind of crap. It wouldn't really be a lottery. It would be um, just a you know regular pick. We do have the Mavericks lottery protected pick as well. I totally forgot about that. Um, so let's go ahead and see how the Lakers and the Mavericks are doing. The Mavericks are doing shit, and the Lakers are you know they're sitting pretty well so you know there's a potential of they're not going to make uh, the playoffs or I make the top three I'm top three in the lottery so that's awesome honestly I don't think I re should really make any moves here at the deadline I was really thinking about it but I think I should just keep the team the same and I'll let 2k do the simulation and if they want us to win the championship or if they want us in the playoffs this year great if they don't then I get the lottery protected pick so or lottery pick so um, I'll just see how it goes. Well, we didn't make the playoffs, and uh, we we are the tenth seed, so I'm kind, I'm you know I'm okay with that. And the Thunder are the first seed out west, which is pretty cool. But I wanted to look at this. Um, obviously we're gonna have our lottery protected or a lottery pick. I don't know. I skipped lottery protected, and the Mavericks finished crap, so they're definitely gonna be in the lottery. We're not gonna get their pick, so I might as well try to trade it uh, while I have it still. So. And then the Lakers. Actually, I don't know if I can even trade it before the draft lottery. So, <laughs> and the Lakers. Uh, I don't think they're gonna get um, a top three pick. So we're gonna get their pick as well. So let's go ahead and still make the playoffs and get into the off season. And I'm not sure if I can make a trade before uh, Chicago wins the championship. Interesting. So. That is very interesting. So, um, player retirement, not really worried about that. League meetings, can we trade? Not yet, anyway. Um, rejected and rejected. Draft lottery. 
can I trade now no I cannot so this is important though so let's go to the draft lottery and see what happens um, should I just skip it or just let it play through I'm gonna might I'll just watch a few of them the Lakers get the f really oh wait it's via Houston okay that's Houston okay that was Houston Rockets pick so it's basically Lakers got the 14 pick. Okay, that kind of I kind of pissed me off. I was like, "What the hell?" All right, I'm gonna skip it. Let's see, what do we have? Um, we have the 11th and the 12th pick via, and then we have the 12th pick, and then the Mavericks um, have the sixth pick. All right, so we get. All right, so we have the 11th and the 12th pick. Not too bad. We're gonna try to package that and uh, get a. Um, better pick obviously that uh, would be the best move here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that and go to the draft and draft our point guard of the future Lonzo Ball hey we are at the NBA draft and I did get the number one pick all I did was trade picks for it too I traded a future first rounder our 11th and 12th and uh, some second rounders um, Lonzo Ball obviously is what we're gonna go here for I think Lonzo Ball would be awesome in Philly. I think that would be an awesome pick for the 76ers. I'm kind of hoping Lonzo Ball lands in Philadelphia. I think it makes more sense in him going to Los Angeles. I know LeVar Ball, like his stupid ass, wants Lonzo Ball to go uh, to play with the Los Angeles Lakers. But I just think the Lakers already have a future in their point guard, like with DeAndre Russell. So why would Lonzo Ball need to go there and, you know make it awkward I guess so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate the rest of this draft and I'm gonna go to free agency so our our big signing was uh, KCP and we're not done free agency just yet but uh, I know we needed a shooting guard a legit shooting guard a knockdown shooter I, I don't know if he's really a knockdown shooter but I know he can get it done from time to time so I'm not uh, too upset with that pick up right there with KCP we do already have some uh, solid small forwards Covington backing up Ben Simmons Sarge and Rashawn Holmes are uh, fine power forwards and Angelo Okafor and Joel Embiid um, I don't really th I think this team has like a, a young guy in each spot I think the only thing that could have improved was they still need to improve their backcourt pretty much which drafting Lonzo Ball would help and then they could grab a nice little shooting guard KCP would do wonders for them um, is there anything else we want? I mean, we can get, you know, some players out here, but I don't know. I don't really want to be active, too active in this free agency. I think uh, KCP was a fine signing. I think that's literally all this team really needed. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight to player progression. I don't really think I need anyone else, to be honest. Um, when, because we need that cap space anyway to extend our guys, because, uh, they're going to need, uh, contract extensions here soon. I know, uh, Joel Okafor, I think, expires in a little bit. Gordon Hayward went to Brooklyn. That's interesting. Um, so, player progression. Uh, Joel Embiid up two. That's nice to see. Ben Simmons up three. KCP up two. Darius Sarge up one. Joel Okafor up two. So, that's nice. Tyus Jones and then TJ McConnell. So, we do have two backup point guards. we got to figure out which one is better to put in the lineup hopefully we get three training camps because we have a lot of young guys so I know 2k sometimes likes to just give you one I'm not sure if that just depends on the team or what but I really um, don't want to to only have one training cramp training camp because that would really suck so come on 2k We do have three. We do. We do. We do. We do have three training camps. Okay, so I'm gonna give one to Lonzo Ball. That's fine. Um, Joel Okafor. And who else should we give it to? Ben Simmons potential to an A plus. Uh, I mean, I couldn't go wrong with any of those guys to be honest. So, um, let's look at the rotation and see how. Our young guys will rotate in and out. So we do have KCP, Lonzo Ball, Ben Simmons, Dario Sarge, Joel Embiid, Covington, Sean Holmes, Oak Four, TJ McConnell, and Tyus Jones starting. So Nick, Stauk Nick Stauskas and Timothy are left off the rotation. I'm kind of curious if I did um, this. He goes up to, uh, and they they both go up. So 
Um, I'll move TJ McConnell to shooting guard. Why not? And Lonzo Ball, KCP, Ben Simmons, Sarich, Joel Embiid. And now we have a 10-man rotation with everybody backing up everybody. So uh, hopefully this season. Oh, I guess Tyus Jones is left out. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to run a 10-man. Run a 10-man rotation. We have uh, enough players for it. So uh, let's see how that goes this season, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so this team is going to be blown up. I'm giving away our first pick, CJ McCollum, and for KCP, Rashawn Holmes, our first pick for CJ McCollum and Derek Favors. We get a better shooting guard, better scoring shooting guard, and... Um, this vastly improves the offense quite a bit. CJ McCollum, we are currently, we're not, we're the 15th seed right now, but we are not out of the race. Uh, we are actually like five games back from the eighth seed, so we need to make some things happen here. Um, other things we could do is, I don't know if I really want to keep Jaleel Okafor around here as he's been on the trade deadlines for a long time. So if I could, uh, you know, maybe improve the, power forward area and have uh, uh, Darius Sarge come off the bench I would love that I would probably want to get rid of Derek Favors and Jaleel Okafor for a better power forward for a better power forward this is what we're going to be looking for a better power forward you know maybe even a center that we can move to a power forward um, Jay Crowder uh, Nick Tomb not seen anything too tremendous um uh jake i did like ah uh, man it's just not seen anything chris milton and serge abaca hmm is that really worth it though not honestly not really so i'm gonna try to make some things happen here um i saw a white side for jalo okafor Okay, actually, this could potentially happen. So, Hassan Whiteside, Jaleel Okafor, um, and Derek Favors. Give it. Actually, let's try this. Let's just, you know, give them a ton of picks. Why not? Actually, that should do it right there. Yep, it does. All right, so we just got Hassan Whiteside. Um, so, we're going to move Joel Embiid to the stretch four, um, 90 overall, and Hassan Whiteside in a defensive anchor. So now our rotation is looking like Lonzo Ball, CJ McCollum, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, Hassan Whiteside, Dario Saric, Derek Favors. Uh, so we do need to get, we still need to get rid of Derek Favors though. We need a backup point guard or a small forward. Or no, we do have a backup small forward. We need a backup point guard or a backup center. That's what I mean. So backup point guard, um, Derek Favors, and a first rounder. Why not get a backup point guard? Just a, just a, maybe an 80 overall, 179 overall one. Uh, just a high rated point guard, Chris Middleton. That's awesome, but could get Chris Middleton. You move TJ McConnell uh, back to point guard. Definitely is a possibility. Tyler Johnson, Buddy Heald, Larry Nance, Seth C Alfred Payton. That's pretty nice. Seth Curry, uh, Zach Randolph. But, um, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get Chris Middleton. This is a, this is a huge trade deadline. Uh. Chris Middleton, and oh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is what I was gonna do. Uh, move TJ McConnell back to point point guard, and then let's see. All right, so TJ McCollum, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, Hassan Whiteside, Chris Middleton off the bench, Sarich, Covington. Okay, so now I kind of want to run a nine-man rotation to give some more of our players more of the minutes. Uh. Tyus Jones actually I don't know why I even so this like this yep this is what I'm liking so Tyus Jones Covington Sarge Milton Whiteside Embiid Ben Simmons McCollum and Lonzo Ball let's try to see if we can turn this shit around I'm hoping we can and we make the playoffs oh to my amaze we did it we made the playoffs barely man it was like to right here where we finally got in like last second got the eighth seed we didn't do so well at the end but Let's see how close it was. Did we, like, barely get in? That we beat the Pacers by one game, man. That would have been absolutely insane. That's that's insane, man. But the problem is we are facing the Cavaliers. But I did make quite a few trade deadline moves that could questionably, you know, 
help us out maybe even beat the Cavs we do have a lot of depth let's just see how it goes they take game one what's they take we take okay let's even oh my god guys we're going to a game seven this is insane okay so hopefully we can take this and go all right I don't know what I just did that all right um let's 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 try let's try okay it's uh it's not looking good it's not looking very good we get eliminated so dang it dang it dang it um try to keep this whole team together and see how uh, a whole season with this whole team goes all right we are back in the playoffs and we are the second seed so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it we're facing the bucks first um let's not waste any time Giannis onto the combo jabari parker surge pretty solid team um but um i think we're better so uh let's uh get this okay i almost said let's get this sweep but wow wow are you fucking kidding me 2k is such a shitty game man wow that's fucking bullshit wow well leave a like if you guys did enjoy uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already this crush bulls i'm saying peace